making a case for standing your ground may get a little easier for those claiming self-defense under a proposed Florida law. It's a good, credible argument that uh, the state should continue to have the burden. Senator David Simmons, who drafted the original Stand Your Ground law in 2005, says as it stands right now, the burden of proof in pretrial hearings is on the defendant. But he says the proposed law would put that burden of proof on the state. There are those who believe that the state should always have the burden of proof, even in the pretrial hearings. I'm in favor of the concept of a burden of proof being borne by the state if it's a prima facie case. House Bill 169, which is being backed by the NRA, would also force the state to pay up to $200,000 to defendants who are acquitted to pay for their attorney's fees and other expenses. Simmons says he disagrees with that part of the bill. Trying to go ahead and assess attorney's fees against the state is, uh, is not appropriate. On the other hand, opponents of the Stand Your Ground law argue that enhancing the law could have deadly consequences by encouraging more violence. We spoke to candidate for state representative Carlos Smith over the phone. In the wake of this horrific tragedy in Oregon, what we need to be doing is looking for ways to protect Florida from unnecessary gun violence. This bill shamelessly promotes using guns as a first response. Shoot now ask questions later, and maybe even get a huge payday. And we're told the proposal must still go through several committees before getting to the floor for a vote. In the newsroom, Tiffany Teasley, Fox 35 News. Developing tonight.